Hello friends, in this video I will discuss a program to find 2's complement of a 16-bit number in 8085 microprocessor. Here I am not discussing 8086 microprocessor because in 8086 microprocessor we have an instruction and by using that instruction we can find 2's complement or 1's complement of any number easily. But in 8085 we have no any instruction to find Two's complement directly. Actually, in 8085, firstly you have to find one's complement, then you have to add one, then you can find two's complement. Means, if you want to find two's uh, two's complement of any number, so that will be two's complement. Means that will be one's complement and plus one. Then you can find two's complement. Okay. So here we are going to implement same concept to find a uh, two's complement of a 16 bit number. Okay. So as we know, uh, if you want to store uh, a 16 bit number in 8085 microprocessor, so we require two memory location to store uh, that 16 bit number because a uh, lower byte will be stored at uh, one memory location and a higher byte will be stored at another memory location so suppose uh, this is a uh, 16 bit number suppose i have writing uh, read, uh, writing one four okay this is 16 bit number so at one memory location this will be stored and at this memory location this will be stored so just i am assuming so we have uh, a 16 bit number that is basically stored at uh, this memory location okay means uh, your uh, uh, lower uh, byte is stored here and higher byte is stored here okay and we have to find two's complement of this, this number then how we can do okay I will explain each and every line so just try to understand firstly uh, LHLD 3000 okay so meaning of this will be uh, the content which is available at this that will be stored in L and the content of next memory location is stored in L. So now we have uh, one data means lower byte in L and higher byte in H. Now just move A comma L means uh, the lower byte will be moved into A. By using CMA we can find one's complement of L. So after this, uh, this will return one's complement of L. Because uh, CMA works on accumulator, so here you can see uh, the value of L is stored in accumulator. So indirectly, we are finding one's complement of L, and just store uh, one's complement in L. Means after this, one's complement uh, will save in accumulator. Now we move uh, the content of accumulator in. L. So now L has one's complement of itself. Okay. This is for L. Now same manner we shift H higher byte and just use CMA. So here uh, one's complement of H will be stored in accumulator. Now move. Okay, so now one's complement as H. Uh, now H has one's complement of itself. Okay, so now uh, after this, uh, L have one's complement of this, H have one's complement of this. Now we have to find two's complement of this number. Then what we have to do? We have to add one only. Okay, so just INX. H. Now what happened after this? Uh, whatever data is stored in HL that will be incremented by 1. Okay. So after this we will get 2's complement. Complement. Okay. And here if you want to store. So you can store. So here meaning of this. Uh, the content of L will be stored at this. And the content of H will be stored at uh, next memory location. 
and just write health so this is basically your program simple program so here just uh, okay let me adjust it firstly what we have to do uh, just load your number in ln h so after this we can load and just shift lower byte in accumulator then find once complement and after finding one complement just save that once complement in lower byte itself and just repeat this process for h also here we get you no know, uh, once complement and that is saving a kilometer now move this value into h itself so l have once complement of l and h have once complement of higher byte now inx has just add one and we get two complement of that number and store so you know what will be output so suppose now uh, this is number suppose this is number 0 2 and 0 3 okay so firstly uh, we have to find one's complement so 0 0 1 0 and this is 0 0 1 1 okay uh, basically 0 2 means uh, this is 8 bit number so here okay 8 bit and bit 16 bit and uh, what will do CMA similarly basically in what 0 into 1 and 1 into 0 means that will return 1 1 1 1 uh, 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 now add 1 so here we can get 2's complement of that number so basically this is a very simplest program to find 2's uh, complement of any 16 bit number in 8085 microprocessor so thank you for watching this thank you